His first one to Christian Yelich is in there for a strike. There it is, starting out with the fastball. He gets a sinker with that ball. That fastball will run a little bit, have some sinking action. But we know that with that fastball, he can work all four quadrants with that pitch. And the Twins, who have a good lineup, they went up. 2-1 to Yelich. This is in, ball three. Has not been the same in the three years since. Fouls this off, and it's three and two. And what's a little bit? There's a lot of frustrations in this game. As far as where that's a, an example there. A payoff pitch to him. And he takes a walk. So Julio Rios. This guy. It's his first walk in four starts. This guy is Willie Adamas who takes ball one. This probably wouldn't have mattered if I did as bad as I was at that moment. Lofts this one into right. Betts comes on and plays it on a short hop. Throw to second. Not, not very good. Andrew McCutcheon swings and misses. He was confident he'd get. That's more like it. 0 oh 2. Yelich at second, Adamas at first, 1 2 to the plate. Got up on top of that fastball and roll. Another 1 2, and a backdoor breaker wrapped around the plate. Fires 2 2. Two on, nobody out, and another 2 2. Got him this time. Fastball right down the middle, but McCutcheon comes up empty. Brasso. First season with the Brewers over from the Tampa Bay Rays takes high ball one. Plays. One ball, one strike. Fly ball, shallow left. On comes Chris Taylor to make a sliding catch. Familiar foe, longtime San Diego Padre. Swats the first one to center. Bellinger's there. And after the first two reach, go in there, regroup, down the zone. Rowdy Tellez leads off and takes ball one. He always liked when he gets the season with the Brewers. Came over in a trade midway through last year from Toronto, where he was productive, but pretty much since. Fouls this one off, and it's one and two. Don't even know what his real name is. <laughs> one two pitch. Just low ball two. Not exactly where it was. It wasn't down the <laughs> middle. It was more in the corner. Trust me. Or else, if he didn't get that call, he'd really. Another two-two is pulled through the right side. Leadoff base hit for Rowdy Tellez. Mm. And one of two brothers to make it from there to the major leagues. Older brother Ramon playing for the Orioles. Family was so moved by the fact that. The scout went into this dangerous area because it was that interesting. Trent Grisham and Zach Davies went the other way. Fly ball right center. No big deal for Mookie Betts. One away. Runner at first, one away. Victor Caratini. I've heard you say the same thing about hitters. It can be one down the first baseline or even into the opposing dugout. I'm like, all right, that's good. I'm, I'm ready. Could be two, five, four, three, and it is a double play. And Urias faces Freeman home run. And the nine hitter Tyrone Taylor leads off for the Brewers. Ball one from Julio Urias. Break was spent warming up. And he saw the kid's reaction. Yeah. Hands on <laughs> his hat. Can you believe what? It's? And he said, too, that his favorite thing about this career that he's got, this game that he gets to play. <laughs> was in tears he was so but he was just so happy and he wanted to say thank you to Mookie so badly and so we tried to get it that's great right now he's getting messages we saw you on TV you know <laughs> we saw you play catch with Mookie like <laughs> the ball and the everlasting smile full count on Tyrone Taylor eighth pitch Drilled the right center field. Bellinger back. Watches it hit off the wall. Lead off double. 
strike one. He's really enjoying doing hit and lead off. Done a time or two throughout his career. I don't know two he takes low ball one. They keep throwing them fastball. One two. Guy who's been so dialed in for much of this year. We've seen of watch happen in that first inning and then he settles in. Really good pitch but a really good take. Taylor at second three two comes home and a bouncer foul. him for the second time and he had an issue to walk in his last three starts he's walked. He tried everything all different kinds of prescription have to guess because I can't see spin one ball one strike and that is really on I couldn't pick up the spin here fastball fouled off one and two And you always hear about guys like it's hard enough already. Yeah, can't see another one two pitch. A lot of the play but fouled off. <laughs> Face the reigning Cy Young Award winner Corbin Burns at 110. Here's spend to the postseason. Another one two to Adamas. Good pitch to finish him off. Second K for a repitches to get the first out of this third inning. Now he faces McCutcheon. And right where he wanted that fastball to the top of the zone. All swings and misses on heaters. Fly ball, center field. Cody Bellinger. Same pattern as the first. The league below 200 against Urias with runners in scoring position on the year. Fouled off, one ball, one strike. One and two. Comes in with the fastball, a pop up that will reach the seat to slam the door. Another one, two to Brasso. Perfect breaking pitch, buckles his knees and ends the third. Decided that he should have another MRI. From then, it was decided that he should have surgery. So at this moment, all we know is that it's elbow. Julio Rios, where. They're not really going to know what's going on until they get in there. They've got the best. The headline today. And you knew, you know, that so many guys on Blake Trinan both taking steps to get closer to returning. Renfro hits a fly ball to the left field corner. Taylor to another 0 2 from Maria Renfro. Got him this time. Taylor said, I was just helping you out. Opening day first baseman. He went to the Tigers in 2012. Rowdy Telez is the 11th different. And in those 11 years, first chance to do that, to be an everyday player. Fifth year with Major League time, three and a half. On a one two from Arias, he watches ball two. Two two. He is two for two. Surprising because you know he's going to go out there. He's going to battle. Always, always assessing himself, regrouping, and saying, "Okay." Off a breakout year, we had 23 home runs behind a fastball, and it's 0-2. Got him. Urias is a good fastball hit. Victor Caratini. Takes fastball for a strike. Cooking at 96. They were sharing the role, but Caratini's playing just about every day now. Swats this one to right center. Betts runs under it and ends the fourth. Even with Urias searching for his best stuff, he's in the innings. And faces 9 1 and 2 here in the fifth. Strike one on Tyrone Taylor. He's given up just three or four hits, one of them to this guy. The lone extra base hit for the Brewers. Tyrone Taylor doubled. Backhand play at third by Justin Turner stands up across the diamond 
This is twice. We saw this in Kansas City as well. He made a great play, and Freddie Freeman there, and trust Freddie will catch it, yeah. and he did. Ball and a strike on Yelich. One and two. Another one, two. So that he can figure it out. Fouls it again. He's still been hitting the ball. Another one, two from Urias. Fouled off again. And you and he, you're seeing him foul off these pitches, but he wouldn't really foul off a whole lot of pitches. Felt like I flew out. Oh, I go see the video. Yep, I'm right. Grounder. I throw. Freeman. Oh, I, I felt like I kept my shoulder in there. That felt really good. What did I do wrong? And then you go back and you feel like, all right, no, it's fine now. And you can't feel it. That can't get my body to do, or he's feeling that. I can't get my body to do what I'm thinking. Oh, and two on Adamas in the deck. That. That's going to start allowing both my body, what I'm feeling, and what's actually happening to be in sync. I thought it was interesting. Two and two. He struck him out. First clean inning of the game for Julio.